recently we had received many mails and messages regarding medicine practical viva so we made a video on personal profile and today we are going to talk on general examination if you are new here i recommend you to watch the previous video for better understanding and hit the subscribe button to show some love let's begin with pro forma and then we will discuss about all detailed questions from this topic so first we will check whether patient is conscious cooperative or coherent then we will check whether patient is oriented to time place and person we will check the nourishment of the patient and sometime we have to check for bmi then we will take temperature pulse we will check for respiration blood pressure then we will check for jugular venous pressure and then we will check for pickle this is the mnemonic pallor edema lymphadenopathy icterus cyanosis and clubbing then we will check skull spine and skin after that gait and at the end in specific topics or in specific cases we have to check for specific signs so this is all about pro forma this is the continuation of our previous topic and in that topic we discuss about why do we ask name age sex occupation religion address all the details have very significant value then we discuss about how to take chief complaints hopi then we have to take past history personal history family history and then we will go for general examination first of all we have to say patient is conscious cooperative coherent well oriented to time place and person now here i am going to ask you why did you check for consciousness then you will have to say sir consciousness it is a state of awareness of oneself and one's environment then i can ask you what are the grades of altered consciousness then there are four grades of altered consciousness the first one is somnolence which is also called as drowsy the second one is stupor third one is semi coma and the fourth one is coma here your examiner can ask what is stupor then you have to say it is a pathological state that resembles sleep but patient can be aroused only by vigorous stimulation that is painful stimulation for example pinching or supra orbital pressure and if you answer this question then your examiner definitely going to ask you the next question and that is what are the scales to assess level of consciousness you might know glasgow coma scale right and it is very important but your examiner going to ask you do you know or name other than glasgow coma scale that's why to me my ek extra naam bata raha hu that is a v p u alert v for response to voice p for response to pain and u for unresponsive so this is the another scale to assess the level of consciousness and aapko iske component yaad rehne chahiye because it is very important not for the examination purpose only but for your knowledge there are three behaviors eye opening verbal response and motor response in eye opening patient can spontaneously open his eyes or to the speech to pain or no response in verbal response patient can be oriented to time place and person he can be confused he or she can use inappropriate word or there might be no response and in motor response if aap bolo ki haath upar kar to wo haath upar karega so that is he obeys your command right like aapne usse ek jagah pinch ke then he will know the sensation so he will move his other hand to locate where he having pain right he can flex to withdraw from pain or there might only abdominal flexion there can be abnormal extension and there might be no response so this is the glasgow coma scale and remember that your examiner might ask you what is the maximum score in glasgow coma scale it is 15 and what is minimum yes it is 3 not 0 in each segment you can see it is start from 1 so minimum score is 3 now look over here here i said patient is conscious cooperative coherent well oriented to time place and person so what is coherent yes coherent means patient speaking logically and consistently and what is oriented yes oriented means function of mind involving awareness of three dimensions that is time place and person your examiner might ask you 
हाउ डिड यू आस्क फॉर ओरिएंटेशन सो यू कैन से सर मैंने उसे टाइम पूछा कि कितने बजे है तो उसने बताया कि सर पाँच बजे है और छः बजे जो भी देन यू कैन से सर आई आस्ट हिम फॉर कि आप कहाँ पर हो सो so, उन्होंने कहा कि मैं हॉस्पिटल में हूँ मैं वार्ड में हूँ राइट right? मैंने उन्हें पूछा कि आप इन्हें जानते हो तो उन्होंने कहा हाँ ये मेरे पापा है सो इन दिस वे यू आर गोइंग टू आस्क फॉर ओरिएंटेशन एंड योर एग्जामिनर माइट आस्क यू व्हाट इज़ द ऑर्डर ऑफ लॉस टाइम इज अर्लीस्ट टू बी लॉस्ट फॉलोड बाय प्लेस एंड एट लास्ट टू बी लॉस्ट इन पर्सन एंड रिकवरी इट इज़ एन अपोजिट ऑर्डर दैट इज अर्लीस्ट टू रिकवर इज पर्सन फॉलोड बाय प्लेस एंड लास्ट टू रिकवर इज टाइम सो दिस इज ओरिएंटेशन देन आई सेड वी हैव टू चेक फॉर टेम्परेचर पल्स चेक फॉर रेस्पिरेशन एंड ब्लड प्रेशर दिस इज द टॉपिक ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फॉर यूर एग्जामिनर यूर एग्जामिनर माइट आस्क यू वॉट इज द नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फीवर वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ फीवर वॉट आर द कॉजेस ऑफ हाइपर पायरेक्जिया वॉट आर द कॉजेस ऑफ हाइपो पायरेक्जिया द साइड्स फ्रॉम वीयर यू कैन टेक द टेम्परेचर Examples of fever with chills and rigor. What is the pyrexia of unknown origin? So this type of questions your examiner might ask you, and you should know the answer. If I am going to give answers to each and every question here, then this video is going very lengthy. So if you want this topic to cover, please comment and like this video. Do depend on your like. We will going to upload our next video on temperature. Thanks for watching this video.